Welcome to Northwest Florida State College Outlook. Our mission is our students, helping each person who comes through our doors to achieve their individual goals for education and career success. NWF is committed to providing students with opportunity to meet their educational goals and to helping them achieve success. Improve your life today at Northwest Florida State College. Welcome to Northwest Florida State College Outlook. I'm Julie Cotton, your host today. And we've got two wonderful guests joining me today, Dr. Devin Stevenson, who's the college's new president, as well as Dr. Marty Walker, who is the director of nursing, which is a, a fabulous one of our programs and has uh, won some accolades here recently. So we wanna talk to her about that. But joining me first is Dr. Devin Stevenson. Welcome to Northwest Florida State College. Julie, it's great Welcome to, be here. Thank to Northwest you. Florida. And yes. welcome to the Outlook Show. It's great to be in paradise. Isn't well, that right? Wonderful. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yep. Um, welcome to the beach. Welcome, oh. you know. So happy um, you and your wife, Judy, yes, Judy. Have, have joined us right. here. And um, I know myself, as, long, as well as all of the faculty and staff at the college, is um, thrilled you're here and, and looking forward to everything you have to offer in the leadership. So well, we appreciate sincerely, we, we are pleased to Thank have you, um, you and you, Judy Jill. here. So. It's great to be here. It's funny, as, as I was driving to this taping today, I had a phone call from some of my colleagues in Kentucky. Um, and they said, well, what are you doing right now? And I said, I'm driving 98, and the beach is just to my left, and I'm watching some parasailing. And they didn't want to hear any more about that. You know? <laughs> They're uh, probably in snow, They're in right? snow right now, <laughs> freezing weather, you know, but great people. But this is a tremendous place to be, a great place of potential and possibilities and opportunities. And we are thrilled to be here working with a great team at Northwest Florida State College, as well as all of our external constituents that bring so much to our institution. Absolutely. And, and as you, I'm sure, have learned, and, and we'll, we'll talk about it in a little while, but we've got a great community here, oh, great yeah. community that supports the college. And um, they keep you busy. All of our, yes, very busy. <laughs> very busy. <Hey>. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, um, you know, I know you came from Kentucky, but right. not too far from home That's right. originally, which right. is Alabama. Near Birmingham. Um, near Birmingham. And we'll yeah. get this out of the way. <clears throat> All right. The Roll Tide. Roll Tide. <laughs> All right. That's well, right. Well, I, I can say I'm an Alabama graduate, not the University of Alabama, but Spring Hill College. So well, I'm a Badger. I'm not a Roll Tider. Great but, <laughs> place. Mobile. I live, but, but lived still in Mobile the Alabama. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. good. Well, tell us about, you know, your history in, <clears throat> in higher education, and then we'll get into maybe some of the business. <clears throat> that you have for Northwest Florida State? Well, I, I think um, if, you, if you probably looked at, at, at my background, I, I didn't really grow up to be an administrator in education, either at the secondary level or at the post-secondary level. Uh, I graduated from Birmingham Southern College in Birmingham, Alabama as a business major in, in a wonderful program that has a great reputation. And my goal was to enter business in some way as a, as a, a leader, a CEO, whatever. And so I, I was offered an opportunity locally uh, as a director of financial aid in an institution right out of college. And this higher education bug bit me pretty bad. Okay. And so I made a conscious decision from that point on uh, to remain in the work that we do in state colleges and community colleges. And it's just been a lifestyle for me. Uh, I, um, I love the work. And the thing that really draws me to this work is the fact that we make a difference. I don't look at this as an education business as much as I look at it as a people business, people business. making a difference in their lives. That's, and, that's it for and me. And certainly the, <clears throat> the mission of Northwest Florida State College, improving, improving lives, lives. That's you right. know, must resonate with you oh, and, and probably did, um, it did during your research and, and the interview process with us. You know, I think you, you bring up a really good point, and, and it is that individuals like me that are college presidents, that uh, are, are involved in the leadership roles at the highest level of higher ed, find ourselves looking for an organization that is an authentic fit. And actually, we were in an authentic fit in Kentucky. 
we were not looking to leave Kentucky. Uh, it's sort of funny, I, I just signed a three-year contract in Kentucky. I was helping lead system initiatives for the entire 16 college system. Uh, so this was not something that I even had on my radar screen. But the search consultants called, and of course, uh, some of my colleagues that are presidents called, and said, you really need to seriously look at this. So Judy and I drove here last summer uh, and incognito. Incognito. That's what we I, did. <laughs> we put on our sunglasses and our shorts. One and of my staff members remembers really? you all. Yes. <laughs> Coming up and, and asking about professional continuing ed. That's right. And so we, we were just, you know, visitors, tourists. Uh, but we, we saw immediately that there could be an authentic fit. Now, you know, once you just walk on campus, you're not sure. But then as you get into the process, e either you come together with it and, it and it becomes a good fit, or you realize that, you know, there can't be the kind of successes here that need to be. And it was evident to us that the demographics, the promise, the challenges, and then our experiences from the past could be successful in, in moving this college ahead. And, and that's when we engaged. We engaged in the search process along with 129 other people. And it was a uh, grueling process. You, <laughs> the you, you win I, the I'm record. not telling you anything no. different, right? You win the record for the longest presidential search process in the history of higher education. We wanted to make sure we well, got it right. I hope you Chairman got it right. Chairman Pennington wanted yeah. to make sure we got it right. Well, certainly. But the process confirmed. And, and even the last 12 weeks, we, we arrived here uh, in December, moved in our home in Niceville, uh, and then began work on January the 3rd. Uh, our work every day has confirmed that we're in the right place at the right time for the right reason. And I believe that I can lead the team. Um, for me, it's not about who gets the credit. It's not about being the president. It's about being a member of the team and helping actualize and helping empower people to be their best. And if I can do that successfully, this institution will become a leader and an influencer. Certainly. Well, speaking of that, that leads us into your vision for the college. And, and you certainly have hit the ground running. You, you've been, you know, at a, at a lot of community events yes. and, um, and certainly well appreciated. <laughs> But your vision for the college, talk to us about that. Well, I think the beautiful part about this institution is that uh, it is a comprehensive state college. And that, to me, makes us well-rounded to touch three particular places in our region. That's community development, economic development, and workforce development. And, le and let's face it, you know this, Julie, because you are involved in continuing ed. Your, your work externally is, is exemplary, and, and you're heavily involved with it. Without community development, you can't have economic development. Mm -hmm. And without economic development happening, you can't have workforce development that brings in. That supports the. You just can't. It doesn't work. And so an institution like ours has to be a part of those three pieces. And where we may not lead all three of those, we are at the table providing encouragement. We're a resource. We're a support agency. Um, and, and we become a part of the fabric and the fiber of this region in those particular areas that will revolutionize and transform the region. Uh, I just left a luncheon where um, uh, Florida's great Northwest, Kim Wilms, mm -hmm. was speaking, and, and she echoed really my belief that you have to identify who you want to be and where you want to go, because if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Uh, and so we are uh, converging with that regional transformation. And we want to be a part of that. We don't want to work against that. We want to be a part of that. And so early on, I defined uh, really what I felt as though should be the things that I do as a president to lead. And, and the first one is to nurture relationships. That's why I've been out so much. And I've been inside as much. I've visited six to eight classrooms already just to talk with students and to affirm the great faculty that we have. Absolutely. I've been at ball games. I've been at theater productions, other events on campus, student life events. Chamber events. Chamber so, events, uh, rotary which events, I'm heavily Kiwanis, involved in, so it's certainly. Uh, But you have to nurture those relationships because the work that we do is all about relationship management, developing them and then managing them effectively. Uh, also, uh, we have to work to expand our resource development at the institution, our grants development, those things, 
we, we're a little short there. And so we now have posted that position. We're going to ramp up, bringing those multi-million dollar grants that will expand our capacity. We, we have a very strong focus we always have had on excellent educational programs, and we will continue to do that. But I think we have to look at educational programs beyond where we are now that are relevant and lead to family sustainable wage jobs, jobs that will sustain a family. It's and important. one of those right now, and a new program that we're starting this fall, <clears throat> hospitality. Hospitality management. So that will be key it, for our area. It, it is. In this, in this region, it, it's just magic for hospitality. And then I'm looking at even transcending that to culinary arts beyond, and then marketing that regionally. And, and I'm talking about not just Okaloosa and Walton County, mm -hmm. but throughout the Southeast and to all of those sectors that, that we can provide a workforce to. So I think that's critical. Then we have to solidify our student success initiatives. As you know, performance-based funding is here, and it's not going away. And we have to improve our ability to be able to take a student in and then watch them matriculate till they complete. complete. That's right. critical. And then the last thing, and I think perhaps this could be the most important, and that is create a culture of excellence where everybody takes great pride in the work they do, regardless of the role they play. If, if they're involved in repairing our HVAC units, if they're standing before a class as a faculty member, a seasoned, tenured faculty member, uh, if they're a, a basketball coach, or if they're a facilitator of Leadership Okaloosa, whatever, <laughs> uh, they, they will create a sense of excellence, and then continuously improve where they are. In other words, I want to be, as president, better tomorrow than I was today. And then tomorrow, I want to be better the next day than I was the previous day. It's just a continuous process for me. So I believe if we can instill these five things into the body of our institution, uh, it will propel our institution into the future and make us an external institution that's making a difference. Absolutely. Well, and, and when we talk about excellence, you know, you look at the collegiate high school, oh. you know, Blue Ribbon and, and A+. Plus. You look at um, sports and athletics and what uh, the men's basketball team has That's done right. again this year. But, so much excellence. Baseball as well and softball. Theater, um, music. The theater, Maddie Kelly Arts, certainly. Right. Um, we... We do strive to right. to provide excellence. And, and, you know, I think that that's another important thing. Uh, I want to be a part of something that is revered as special, that has a spirit of exclusivity to it. And this institution does that. When people talk about Northwest Florida State College, they immediately say, what a great place. I mean, you know, it helped shape my life or it shaped a family member's life. Hundreds of thousands of people have walked through the corridors of that institution mm -hmm. all the way back to its original days as Okaloosa Walton. And, and so we can never forget that we've made, the, made that remark or that, that mark. Uh, and uh, we want to continue to do that in a very, very special way. Can never forget the impact that we're making. Well, good. Um, future. Talk to us about some, some future. and The future's bright. Yeah. The future's very bright. You, you know, if you looked at the complexion of the legislature right now and some of the infighting that's going on, we know it's there. We see it in the newspaper every day. Right. I think what, what we do know is that those parties will eventually come together. We can never stop championing our cause and our successes that we've had in the past and those we plan in the future. So what I want to do is build a very strong foundation, uh, even now, because we have a lot of new people that were not here in 1960s when the institution started. And I, I want them to gravitate to what our mission really is so that they don't see our plan and our mission and our vision as just being words on a piece of paper. I want people to live those. And, and then for me, the future of our institution is is literally lifting ourselves up off of our 264-acre campus in Niceville, the one in Defuniac Springs, Crestview, South Walton, uh, Fort Walton Beach, and, and Hurlburt Field, to lift those campuses up and thrust the services that we offer out into the region. And we have to think differently. It's like John Maxwell said in a recent book, you have to be thinking for a change. And that's what we have to do. We have to think for a change. Um, and so every day I get up and I say, you know, God help me make a difference in somebody's life today. And if I need to change to do that, help me change. Help me think about how I need to morph myself in a different way to lead this institution effectively. So uh, what, what I want our institution to be is relevant. I want us to be relevant and integrated 
into the system. And, and as we move forward with our strategic planning, which we'll be doing in this summer and, and developing a new vision and a new strategic plan for the next three years, I want the, the solid tenets of, of that plan to be that very thing, that we will be integrated and we'll make a difference. And certainly improve lives. And improve I, lives. We don't I, want to I forget do, that. I do want to um, <clears throat> want to want to note one um, one remark or or saying I see in your office when when I've been in there, and that's the best way to predict the future is to create it. That's right. And I think that that's very telling of <laughs> of the vision that I've heard you lay out for the faculty and staff and the college, um, and so certainly that that rings true. It's important. I think a lot of people wait for the future. To come to them. What we need to be doing is running after the future and catch up with it. And so our decisions that we make have to be future-proofed as we go forward. We have to think about how do we create structures within that are timeless and traditional, but yet respond to the contemporary needs and of the socioeconomic background and socioeconomic sectors that we serve. And certainly we <clears throat> create, we not only create the future, but we hold the future in our hands oh, with yes. these students. That's right. So, exactly. Um, Making so that difference. Certainly we, we are. We, we right. are improving lives and, and we'll continue to do that. That's right. Well, thank you so much. Thank we you, could Julie. stay here for, yes. for another hour like and, and discuss <laughs> leadership and, right. and all the, the nuances of that. But um, I do want to have Dr. Walker on in a little while and, and discuss the nursing great program. Member, great Absolutely. Well, thank you for being here thank today. You, certainly we'll have you again great. on and um, appreciate all the um, all of your leadership and your Thank 12 you. weeks that you've been here weeks, so but it's been welcome fun. again to you Thank and you. Judy great to um, be here certainly well uh, next up like I said we'll have Dr. Marty Walker on she's our director of nursing and we'll talk about the accolades that that program has had here recently and so we'll be back with Northwest Florida State College Outlook welcome to the humanities fine and performing arts division at Northwest Florida State College we are a premier institution of higher learning with state-of-the-art studios, performing facilities, and learning spaces. If you are interested in pursuing music, art, theater, or dance, or if you just want to better understand your own humanity, we have a place for you. Our instructors are highly knowledgeable and motivated about teaching you your passion. Our classrooms, studio, and performance spaces are designed to maximize your learning experience. When you graduate from Northwest, you're ready to go to work or continue your education at a four-year university. We invite you to learn more about our arts and humanities programs at Northwest and how we can help you discover your passion. Welcome back to Northwest Florida State College Outlook. Again, I'm Julie Cotton, your host today. And joining me now is Dr. Marty Walker. She is our Director of Nursing at Northwest Florida State College. Welcome, Dr. Walker. Appreciate Thank you. you being here. And um, as I had said in the previous segment uh, with Dr. Stevenson, that the nursing programs just won some nice accolades. So tell us a little bit about the nursing program as well as, as what those award um, awards are. Well, to start with the award, because that's always the happy part. To yeah, start absolutely. Part, <laughs> we love awards. Is that uh, we were named number 13, which is the top 20 for, 100, for the uh, nursing.org uh, program. So that made us uh, in the top 20 for the state of Florida. That's wonderful. And that included universities and Universities colleges. as well as colleges? Yes. Okay. Oh, that, that's fabulous. So well, nice. congratulations to you and your team on that. And Thank students you. as well. And the students, <laughs> yes. They work very hard. Absolutely. Well, speaking of students, tell us about the nursing program for some of the um, people watching that may not know what we have. We actually have two um, nursing programs or two levels of nursing program. Uh, we have the ASN program, which is an, an associate of science degree in nursing. And we also have the RN to BSN, which is kind is considered after they get their RN, then they can come back and finish their uh, BSN. And we actually have a very seamless transition from our AS program to our BS program for our graduates. Now, um, the 
the RN, the the AA, I mean the AAS program, uh, we also offer AAs as well yes. as the college, <laughs> so it made me think of that, but uh, the AS, how long does it typically take a student to, to it accomplish that? It takes four semesters of nursing programs, okay. I mean of nursing classes, it takes about four semesters, unless they're the LPN to RN transition, in other words they already hold an LP, a Florida LPN license, then it takes them three semesters, not including the summer. We don't have summer nursing courses. Okay, so a two-year and then the RN to BSN. The RN to BSN takes about, it depends on the student, it's 100% online, so they can finish it in their time. That's why it works well for those who are working. Absolutely. That they can go and they can do it as, in as little as three semesters, or they can do it as much as um, six semesters. Now, are clinicals still? I know I... Um... We have clinicals for the AS program, uh, typical clinicals. We have them in the uh, facilities, all healthcare facilities all around Oakloose and Walton County. We have many partnerships with uh, Sacred Heart Hospital on the Emerald Coast, Fort Walton Beach Medical Center, Twin Cities, North Okaloosa Medical Center, and also the Okaloosa and Walton County Health Departments, okay. rehab facilities, a home health, and hospice. We okay. utilize all of so those different So places. all kind of aspects mm -hmm. that, that they certainly can um, that they can do in the two get levels. their feet wet and 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 add to to their resume. I know I serve on the Fort Walton Beach Medical Center board of directors, and I see our students walking the halls um, with their patches on, and it's a, a breath of fresh air. Nice to see. So we do certainly you know you commented on it, but the community partnerships that we have. Uh, right, our, and we have team. many different community partnerships with the RN to BSN program, because basically there for their clinicals is they work through vulnerable populations. So they're working at different uh, church organizations, free clinics, uh, veterans care, and also care of the homeless. Oh, okay. So certainly giving back to the community, yes. as well as improving lives, as we <laughs> talked about earlier. Um, tell us about, so pass and fail rates, how does, you know, I, I've, I've heard um, nice things about the program <laughs> recently well, as well. Well, our, our pass rates are one of the reasons why we won this award is because our pass rates for the last five years has been an average of 94%, wow. which uh, is consistently above the state and the national pass rates. So that's what put us in that top 13 and, uh, and, I would, our, and I would attribute some of that certainly to our student and the work ethic, but also to your team and your faculty. Oh yes, we have an awesome faculty team. We have, their education is at the highest level. We have several doctors, doctors in the program we, that teach in the program. Also, all of the other faculty have master's degrees and two, experience, clinical experience. Several of them are certified in nurse education. Okay. Um, I know from the Costa Leadership Institute, we've been partnering with your program and offering some prep um, classes for the NCLEX. Right. So the here, NCLEX we, is here we are again with an acronym. So t <laughs> tell us about that. <laughs> the NCLEX is the acronym for what we call our nursing boards. Once the student finishes their program, in order to practice and be licensed, they have to pass their nursing boards. And that's that pass rate we're talking about. That's with the nursing board. Our pass rate for the program is about 80%, which is also um, very high right. for nursing programs. How does someone apply and, and be admitted to the program? Um, for the, that process? For the ASN program, we have one admission a year, and that's in the fall. They... Every January, we open the admission process, and they apply to the college and the nursing program. They also have to have a certain GPA average and also to pass the um, nursing entrance exam. We look at all of those things, and then they're um, put on a, a, like a point system, okay. and then we take the highest points first. But it's every fall, we admit. Uh, for the BSN program, it's open admission. We, we admit every semester. Okay, um, so are we admitting now for the summer? It closed March 1st. Okay, all so right. We're, so we're going we'll... through the application process now. Right We've now. all applied, and now we're going to take a look at every, all of the applications and the numbers and put them in order and then choose the top. And then rank, okay. Mm -hmm. um, how many students in the program? 
there's a uh, room for 148 in the AS program, and there's really no cap at this point for the BSN program because, as I said, it's it's online. Okay. Right. And uh, but currently in the program we have 110, but we're getting ready to accept another 78. So. Okay. Well, terrific. And simulations. So I know that in the at the Niceville campus um, is where you're facilities are. Tell us about the simulation labs. We have a, a small simulation lab at this time, but we are in the process of building a new one, and it's to be completed in the by the fall. There'll be four hospital rooms and one home health room, along with four breakout rooms, because those breakout rooms are the debriefing rooms, and that's the most important part when we talk about simulation. So they can watch their performance and um, oh, okay. evaluate, so evaluate them. themselves. And evaluate themselves. Okay. All right. well, and simulation is a good environment because it's non-stressful and, and they don't have to worry about uh, any uh, misfortunes with the mannequins. Right, exactly. <laughs> well, um, well, certainly a great program and want to congratulate you all on um, the awards and I'm sure there's more to come um, on the awards, but thank you for sharing this with us and people can find out more information about the program on the college website. On the college website and under health sciences, they'll see nursing and it'll list all of our information. All your information as well. Okay, and what what's the main number if they wanted to call and, and talk to an advisor and or mm -hmm. someone in your on your team? 729-6400. Okay, all right, and we'll put that up on the screen as well. Well, thank, thank you. you again for joining us today and sharing that information um, about the program. And I want to tell you about uh, some events going on at the college. There are lots of events this spring going on at the college. So um, first off, we will be closed for spring break, March 13th through 17th. And then registration for our summer and our fall semester classes opens up on March 31st. So again, we are opening up registration for summer and fall classes on March 31st. In April, we have One Night of Queen at the Maddie Kelly Arts Center. That's on April 13th. And you can find more information out on that terrific show on the Maddie Kelly Arts website. We have April 17th, NWF Reads. And we have best-selling novelist of House, and Sand, House of Sand and Fog, Andre Dubois, who will be joining us at the Sprint Theater. On the 22nd of April, we have the Northwest Florida Symphony Orchestra German Master Show. That's at 7.30 p.m. And then May 15th is when summer classes begin. So um, go to our website. You can find out more information on all of those events. And then uh, from the professional and continuing education area, we have lots of classes. Again, you can find all of those listed on our website website as well. So I want to um, thank everyone for joining us today, Dr. Devin Stevenson and Dr. Marty Walker, and we hope to see you soon. Thank you. Thanks for watching Northwest Florida State College Outlook. Our mission is helping each person who comes through our doors to achieve their individual goals for education and career success. NWF is committed to providing students with opportunity to meet their educational goals and to helping them achieve success. Improve your life today at Northwest Florida State College.